Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today in this video, we will see about EC research service in UDS. Let's take an example that this is a client, which is a tester or a canalizer, and this is a server or EC in a car. Client will send a request and server will process the request and send a response. If I send 1101, which is hard reset, then EC will process and send pass to response with 5101. Here 11 is a service ID followed by 01, which is a sub function of hard reset. If I send 1103, which is a soft reset, then EC will process and send pass to response with 5103. Here 03 is a sub function of soft reset and also have other sub functions like to key off on reset 04, uh, which is a uh, enable rapid power shutdown, 05, disable rapid power shutdown. And now we will see about negative response codes. If EC sends 110102, then EC will send 7F1113, where uh, 13 NRC, which is an incorrect message length or invalid format. Because here we need to send only 1101, because of adding extra byte, we are getting NRC13. And if our tester sends 1102, and if we get 7F1112, which indicates the sub function not supported. And if tester sends 1101, and EC sends 7F1122, which says that condition not correct, which means we need to satisfy some of the conditions. For example, vehicle speed less than 10 km per hour or ignition on, which depends on OEM. And if Vesta sends 1101 and issue response with 7F1133, then NRC33 indicates that security access denied, which is before using this 11 service, we need to satisfy security access. How issue reset is processed inside the ECU? Let's say that this is a PDU router, this is a DCM, and this is a BSW mode manager, and then finally MCU, which is a microcontroller. When 1101 is sent, it will come to the PDU router and indicate it to the DCM via DCM TPRX indication function. And from DCM, it's sent to the BSW mode manager by the function hard reset indication. So this function will be called when uh, sub function hard reset is sent. And now from uh, BSW mode manager will trigger a hardware reset via calling MCU perform reset function. Where reset to the EC is triggered via watchdog reset or uh, triggering jumping to the startup code so that uh, bootloader will initialize and then from bootloader it jumped to application here it's up to the supplier or oem to decide whether before reset we can trigger a password response or uh, after reset we can trigger a password response so rtsr uh, is allowing both the possibilities so now go to the rtsr uh, diagnostic communication specification document and then go to the chapter 7.6.2.3 here issue reset is mentioned so for EC reset, we have many sub functions, which is reset type, like hard reset 01 and 03 soft reset, and then 02, 04, 05. And depending upon the reset type, EC will select the mode switch. So DCM will call particular function, depending on the reset type, to the BSW mode manager. And then BSW mode manager will trigger a reset. 